how to use MailChimp for social media marketing. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can use MailChimp within your social media marketing. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be set. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to go to MailChimp.com, sign in for your account and here we have the dashboard. If you have set already the contacts or you have set the audience, you are going to be good and set. If not, all you have to do is to click on all contacts under the audience and add your contacts for future creation of campaigns. Now, with this set, you can go ahead and add a single contact or import contacts as bulk. After you have set this, you are going to scroll down right here on this left side menu and you'll see here integrations. You click on integrations and it will show up the apps and the integration that are available right here. Now, simply you are going to search within these apps for the Instagrams, for example, Facebook or any social media related. Now, let's go ahead and search, for example, for integration for Facebook. And we'll see if it is right here. And as you can see, made by MailChimp, we have Facebook. Let's search for Instagram. Instagram. Here. And normally, it will show up right there, the Instagram app, I think. Instagram. Here we have the Instagram content block, drive engagement with your Instagram post by adding Instagram content blocks to your MailChimp email campaigns and more. Let's go ahead and see uh, if we have Twitter and it is named as X. Simply you are going to set up these. Now I'm going to see if Pinterest is here and it is not. Let's say here that we are going to use the uh, Facebook. Facebook, click on Facebook, and now it will go ahead and let you connect our Facebook account. Click on connect. Simply, it will open up another window demanding the access to our Facebook normally, or you are simply going to find the new integration. Click on connect again. And now we are going to log into our Facebook account. Now we have connected our Facebook account. As you can see, you can go ahead and test the connection. Yay, we can access your Facebook profile. After you have set this, simply go ahead and create your first post within MailChimp. To create that post, simply go ahead and click on the create with the pen. Click on it and now we have the choice on the left side menu. We have emails, automation, website, sign up forms, creative assistant, and more. Simply right here, you can go ahead and put, for example, a ad for Google remarketing ad or a social post. Click on it. And here we have the internal social post name. I'm going to put it as test, begin, and it will show up the editor or the type of post that we are going to create. Here, we have the type of posts or the type of platforms that are used. We have Facebook and Instagram. You can go ahead and, and check or in check for either Facebook or Instagram. X right now is currently unavailable. So go ahead and make one of these or two of them Simply you are going to click on save and continue. Here we have the profile. Here we have also the description. You can add a description for example. Let's go ahead and add how was your like that your design today. Like that. I'm going to put a question mark. Here we have two options. You can go ahead and use the creative assistant or you can go ahead and click on browse. You can add some elements from the content studio. 
right there you are going to set everything you have made if you have created a post or a image go ahead and put it right there if not you can go ahead and create some posts using canva let's go ahead and add this for example i'm going to add this click on insert and here we have the option of the uh, image or that post when you finish this click on save and continue and now we are going to see here we have the instagram page and also the facebook page you can go ahead and use or search for any type of uh, as you can see here on facebook we have two pages or three i'm going to use that for uh, the page and for the instagram i have only one page connected when you finish this you are simply going to click on save and continue here we have the review of your post and the test will be shared to the or the post this is the name of that post to facebook instagram and x when do you want to publish your post you can go ahead and publish it now or you can go ahead and schedule it this is the feature that is present within the meta business suit you can go ahead and set a date for example i'm going to put it right here to the 10th of july and we have also the time you can go ahead and select the time that you want that post to be live like for example i'm going to put 10 30 pm and you can also edit your time zone when you finish everything right here simply you are going to click on schedule but if you click on publish now you are going to see it right there and by this we have created our post within our social media accounts linked with mailchimp you can go ahead and go to the integrations again and select the platform that you are going to connect also for example you are going to select instagram and see instagram and here instagram like this and you will see here a instagram content blocks you can go ahead and use this to promote and share your instagram posts in emails this is very good and very sophisticated and you're creating some posts for your instagram into the email campaigns that you are going to create especially for the uh, for example internet marketing affiliate products or affiliate marketing in general you can see here how does it work you can bring the social to more channels synchronize instagram content to mailchimp share your profile and here we have it this is the uh, previewer and you can see here everything is very simple that was all for today's video i hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one